and loud and it was a no one was waiting around the cot was probably an inch onto the range just just totally blown away and shocked just just in shock he picked her up in his arms and he, and he dropped her from elbow height first time oh God. and then he picked her up and then he dropped her again I was verbalising you know oh my god what you know and his aunt she's hot he then took the baby into the bathroom where a cold bath had been filled god knows why um, it was two inches from the top really full deep bath cold weather and he placed her in there and um, proceeded to dunk her under and what concerned me was the amount of time the, sort of the suspended period of her being under the water as well yeah it was just um, between 5 and 10 seconds she was gurgling and he would submerge her again her eyes were sealed down and, and her nose was sealed down also her mouth was sealed down almost like mounting plastic she was discoloured she was obviously blackened totally just deformed her hands were stub like and stuck together she whimpered throughout the whole dunking process she whimpered just letting us know she's still around put her on a um, bath mat and um, told Tanya that she was dead and he walked away and left her she started the whimper again and I just oh my god and so I yelled out she's not dead she's not dead then the 12 year old ran for help because the baby's mother Rose Shortland was having trouble ringing 111 the baby was rushed to Dunedin Hospital and died hours later from shock due to the second and third degree burns to her head, shoulders and hands. No coroner's inquest was ever held into the death of baby Linda Bailey. Police deemed it to be an accident or a sudden death. But 60 Minutes has seen the original file into the 1989 investigation. It consists of little more than the report to the coroner, the pathologist's findings, a fire service report and this job sheet which relates to conversations with Tanya and the 12 year old. No formal statements were taken at the time from the four eyewitnesses and certainly not from Rose Shortland or Paul Bailey. Rose Shortland's now living in Australia. She has another life and another daughter. And she says she can remember very little of the night her baby Linda died. Can you remember what happened? Yeah, I know that she was in a fire. Why did you put her on the bench beside the oven? Um, I didn't. I didn't put her on the bench beside the oven. Where did you put her? I put her on the bench, but it was up against the taps. <sighs> I don't want to do this, say, eh, with my daughter. I can't do it. I just had to deal with this shit the other day. Do you feel responsible for what happened? For Linda? No way. I feel, um... I feel like even putting her out of the room, I was doing what I was supposed to do when babies cry. Putting her on the bench. I mean, we're talking of a, a space like this. We're not talking on top of an oven. Mothers know you don't put your baby near an oven like on top of an oven. So how did the element get switched on? I don't know. I don't know. Apparently it was supposed to have been knocked. I know in my mind I know what's happened. But I just don't want to believe it. I honestly don't want to believe it. It is in relation to Paul? Yeah.